Hello, welcome back to Ideas in Photography. We're going to continue the talk about reflections and look at a five stage review on how you can actually get some decent reflection into your workbooks. The first stage is actually go see the work itself. Now, this can be difficult, but it really makes it worthwhile. Now by work, I mean how the artist or photographer originally wanted it seen. So whether that's a gallery show, a book, um, and it's unlikely to be on the internet. So it's, it's worth the while. And I'm going to use an example, the, the William Eggleston um, show that I saw at the National Portrait Gallery um, a couple of weeks ago. So the first thing is go see the show and try and understand what to do and how you think about it. The second thing is go and look and read all the reviews you can on magazines and newspapers. Stick to standard newspapers and magazines. The Guardian in, in the UK, the New York Times in the US. Most of this is free um, and you don't have to go through paywalls, etc. And go and read what the critics have said. Then go and look at the museums. What do the museums say about it? The Getty, for example, has got quite a good reaction on Eggleston. What do they say? And then equally, what do some of the other newspapers say about Eggleston as a photographer? Sean O'Hagan in, in The Guardian writes quite a lot on photography. Some people disagree with what he says. And that's an important point, is that critics are there to help you think about the work. You don't necessarily have to agree with them, but they certainly want you to think about the work. Now, fourth, you then go to the books. This is quite important, particularly if you're a student of photography, you're not used to understanding some of the words some of these critics are saying. And equally, why do you disagree with stuff? So go and look at the books. The key thing here is to look at the index. Go to the index of the book and see if Eggleston is actually mentioned. If he's not, obviously, it's perhaps going to be a bit awkward. So in this case, I've looked up and I've found that Clark and the, the new bait on photography, uh, art photography, mentors e Eagleston. So then look at that and see what they're saying and see how they place the, ph the photographer, the artist within postmodern street photography in the street of, of Clark and um, postmodern art photography in the street of, in the case of Bate. Then after you've done these four steps, which is go see the work, read the reviews, read what the museums say about the photographer, and then read about the books, then go back and try and work out what your own views on the photographer was. Reflect, use the ammunition that the critics, the reviewers, the writers have said about the work and also your reaction to the work. How does it make you feel? What does it feel like? In my case, the Eagleton was fascinating to see the quality of the prints. It's the first time I'd seen a big selection of prints. I've seen some of his prints before, but the first time I've seen a big selection of prints, which is very clear that for him, the print quality was of utmost importance. And he was using an old dye transfer print, which is now defunct. And it's been quite a few years until he's discovered digital printing of a quality that's good enough to put back onto the walls. I, I did see a, a show of his before, before while he was working towards this, and it really wasn't very good. Now he's got it right. He's putting a lot of money into it. And that's what you've got to understand, that these are expensive prints on the walls. So how do they make you feel? So use the critics, use the writers, use the reviewers to give you ammunition, to tell you what you think about the work that you actually saw. You are reflecting on it, you've been critical, and you're using the critics as ammunition. That's all there is to it. So, summer is nearly the end at the Hamilton Towers, so after next week, we're back to our normal sequence, hopefully um, upload on a Sunday, and something during the week. So follow us on WordPress, follow us on, on Vimeo, and see you later then. Bye-bye now.